Hello. We are in Actors Thomas More Kempen. This year we worked on two different projects, namely Happy To Be and Icewire. The first project we will explain is Happy To Be, and thereafter Icewire will be presented. What if it all gets a little too much? You're not feeling well and you don't know how to say it with yourself. You don't feel good at work and you even start to feel anxious. A common disorder in these modern days is a burnout. Too much, too much stress at work causes anxious episodes that prevent you from getting back to work properly. You feel misunderstood and alone. This is a social problem for which we would like to find a solution. A solution that people at home can use so that you can work on yourself in a safe environment. This solution would consist of expanding a person's social network with burnout. Getting in touch with other people can make you feel understood and less lonely. An important part of our project is the contact with, with experts by experience. These people have gone through a burnout before and can give very specific tips and tricks to deal with this. Being in contact with other people with a burnout can also help you to feel understood. Your social contact will be extended with the expertise of the experienced expert. Like Tessa said, person-to-person -person contact with, ex uh, with experts by experience is a great possibility to broaden people's social networks and to support them before professional help is available. However, personal contact is not longer allowed due to the corona pandemic. So we had to find another solution that people can consult van uit een eigen kot. What we came up with, what we came up with is happy to be. Happy to be is an app created for people who are overworked and due to that are staying at home. Even before the start of the pandemic, they were losing contacts with the outside. What we want to give them is a safe place where they can express their feelings to people that will listen. Those same experts by experience that can understand them and what they're going through right now. Those experts by experience are ready to assist them online to give people a with a burnout new hope and dreams, just as a shooting star does to you when you look up at the sky. With the app we are going to create, we want to stress on anonymity. Often, people are scared of being judged, so we chose not to reveal people's outside appearance because you can judge on what you don't know. By this way, people will notice and appreciate the precious inside of others. The purpose of this platform is to share your story, your problems, and to find your connection. With the app, we set multiple goals. First of all, we want to connect the people, bring people with the burnout together. By talking, you can feel um, whether you have a connection or not. When there is a sparkle between the two of you, you can go to you can go to know each other. After meeting people in our app, your use your social network will grow. By this way, you will feel better. So don't worry, be happy. We are there for you. Besides chatting, we also want to introduce the opportunity to play games and to share quotes, thoughts, and music, so people can get to know each other in a different way. Because um, people can share their story and their problems, people can feel better. This app can also be a way of getting to know other people. We want to give uh, people the ability to broaden their social network without having to, to be scared of any pre prejudgment. Maybe this app is also an opportunity to get to know yourself. Also a big advantage, um, people do not have to pay for this app, so it's free. Our business plan is still under construction. This business plan is supposed to support this program and provide a better social care for the ones who need it. One of the, of, of the possible ways that we could get the support we need is, is by um, um, gi giving a relevant advertisement uh, through the application that might be useful to our users. Or um, 
getting the support we need from the games uh, providers that our users use to make themselves happier. Um, by working with interesting partners like um, Janssen, um, Johnson & Johnson Pharmaceutical Science, uh, Sciences or um, persons with um, uh, health insurances, um, we can get through there and get the support enough for us to provide the program the support it needs. It's a program where you can help and, and be helped. It's really a win-win situation. Hello, I am Laura and we are IceWire. We're a group of six engaged students from Thomas More Kempen. We started in the beginning of the year with a clear vision and a purpose to do something with vacant patrimonium. In the short recap, we will tell you about the roller coaster this year. First, we'll start with the meaning of our name, Icewire. Here's Benjamin. Hello, my name is Benjamin. We didn't just choose Icewire as a name. The core values that we stand for as a team are included in the name. Ice stands for innovation, creativity and entrepreneurship. Wire stands for our goal to offer meaningful daytime activities with small free materials. So, creativity is emphasized. On the other hand, WIRES stands for connecting people to both our targeted audience and the strong team behind IceWire. We talk soon about our latest project called IceWire, because our project is much more than that. We'll start in the beginning with our Stefanus project. Ruhl was very dedicated and wants to tell you more about it. Here is Ruhl. This year, we started off with the idea of doing something with vacant patrimonium of Bisdom Antwerp. In the beginning, we didn't quite have something to build on, but we wished to do something with these spaces. That's why we started thinking creatively about the decay of the construction. The needs of NPO Stefanus, which we, which we would work with, were mainly to help in their financial quest. Besides that, we got a list with a lot of needs and small tasks. For us, it wasn't possible to combine the exceptions of Stefanus, Ice Honors and Enactus. Therefore, we changed our course and wanted to take care of a problem of ourselves. So, we changed direction by quitting the Stefanus project because we wanted to create even more impact. Then, now, more about our recent project, which started because of the virus that changed all of our plans. Icewire was born. Maarten was one of the biggest help in this project because of his program skills. Here is Maarten. Icewire is our initiative in times of Corona. We were looking for a way to help people. Soon it turned out that we had to find something to give people a meanif meaningful daytime activity. That's why we started to make do-it-yourself videos. These videos we placed on our website. People could easily find them and try to do them themselves at home, which gave them a fun day activity. We're going to try to integrate IceWire with our first vacancy problem. When Corona is over, we're going to create workshops of these do-it-yourself videos. These workshops we shall give ourselves in the vacancy buildings. That's what IceWire is all about. A lot has been accomplished in a fast rush, but we had great experiences. Listen to Lucas. The COVID-19 pandemic has been causing a catastrophe around the world. So technically, this isolation period might not be considered a holiday. Certainly not for us students, since we have a lot of schoolwork to do. This period was and still is very exhausting. Through the IceWire project, we tried to connect and entertain people. This is something we are trying to do on a small scale with our platform. But even these small things are very important in these more divided and difficult times 
for example in terms of inequality. Apart from the fact that this period is very exhausting, we have experienced this period in a very um, positive way. Helping other people is a sustainable uh, form of making a positive impact on the people around you. Trying to help people and knowing that we are trying to make this world a better place is really motivating. Now our future plans. We want to go back to the aim of this year, vacancy. We'll start again with searching for the problem and what keeps us awake at night. We'll continue as a team and want to deliver something to the world to make it a better place. As told in our previous presentation, with, with the SDGs, good health and sustainable cities. We are Icewire. Wait, then, Icewire. Icewire.